How would they come along? Well, not too bad. Quarter decent negative. Right to y'all. Get them along to the squadron leader as soon as they're done. All right. Many aircraft on that aerodrome. Five Ju-52s and quite a lot of 109s. Oh, good. Well, let me see it, will you, when you're finished? Yes, sir. Thank you. French from the last sortie, sir. Thank you. What do they like? Very good, sir. Thank you very much. That's fine. This looks pretty good. I really think we have got something this time. Donald, would you get me the, um, Feinhausen file, please? Certainly, sir. You know, this is most interesting. They've done a most tremendous amount here. It's a colossal installation now. Let's have a look at that file. Remember, we saw it about three months ago. <clears throat> Quite a small little place, nothing much happening. Just a wood. Here we are. You can see just small sidings and an empty wood, packed in no traffic, no barges, and nothing. But now, look at it. Quite different. Greatly extended sidings. Oil tanks along a row by this railway line. Pipelines coming out of the wood, where there are more installations, coming down to these barges in the river. And it's very big. It certainly is a peach of a target, isn't it, sir? It's just what the CNC must have. Now, look, if you'll write the analysis, I'll get on with the intelligence report for him. Certainly, sir. Thank, Thank you me. very much. Officer confirms the good weather forecast for tonight, sir. Right. Then we'll go ahead with our maximum effort. Controller, warn all groups to carry out Operation K tonight. Yes, sir. The thing here, I think you ought to see, sir. Yes. Bomber command to all groups. Targets for tonight. Maximum effort tonight. Town 434, Germany. Target, naval docks and barracks. I will repeat that. What do you think Excellent of these Freyhausen photographs, sir? Town 434. I think they're excellent. Target, naval docks and barracks. Let's go and have a look at the map. Controller, get me AOC 33 group. Yes, sir. That's the spot, sir. Yeah. You're through to AOC 33 group, sir. Don't you, Maitland? I've just been looking at the photographs of Freyhausen. They confirm exactly what we thought. I want you to divert one squadron on this target tonight. An experienced squadron which will go in low. That's it. I'll send you the photographs immediately. Thank you. Give me all stations. Yes, sir. Stand by all stations for the AOC. I'm putting you through now. Four, three, four. That's Keo, isn't it? Yes, sir. You're through, sir. Maximum effort tonight on Keo. Objective, naval docks and barracks. I want every available aircraft on this target. Have you got that? Right. In addition, Militon will provide one squadron to attack the new oil storage and tankers at Freihäusen. Fryhoist. You'll get full details and photographs from intelligence. That's all. Right, sir. Get me the intelligence room, please. Maybe, sir. Ask the wing commander to come in. Yes, sir. Hello, intelligence room. The group captain wants you. Yes, sir. Fryhuisen, sir? It's on the Rhine, sir. It's the old man, Jimmy. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. It's on the right bank. 
About 15 miles north of uh, Freiburg, in the Black Forest. Oh, yes, I know that. What I want is target information, the latest target maps, any recent photographs showing the new oil tanks and storage. Briefing is at 14.30 hours. Got it? Very good, sir. That's our objective, briefing at 2.30. That? What's it got that Ham hasn't got? Well, that's a good thing. I haven't been off the ground for a week. It's all very well for you. I had a party tonight. Well, that saved your headache. Thank you very much. That's a fine thing. That's the second time in for nuts has been washed out. If you'd a better navigator, you'd go off now. Listen, Jock, who was it didn't know whether over Hanover or Hampton Court? <laughs> That's a joke. A uh, joke, my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now, there's your plug and late. All right, thank you. Operations tonight, fellas. How do you know? Oh, I'll get around. I'll get all the gin. Hey, Conley, what's the odds today? Wait a minute, I'll tell you. Kill Willems Harden in the Channel Port, two to one. Gulls Incursion, seven to one. Hamburg and Cologne, eight to one. All others, tens. I'll have a ten on the Channel Port. OK, you're on. You can see it's a reasonable target to spot, seeing that we've got the moonlight and these water landmarks. But anyway, I shall send your two best men first with incendiaries. In that case, I'll send in Phillips and Anderson first. They're my two best. Yes, that will do very well. The rest had better have HE. These tanks look as though they've got heavy concrete tops. And it's no good trying to draw their far. They won't open up on you until they're sure you've found the target. No, I don't suppose they will, Zahn. There's bound to be an awful lot of stuff around there. There always is around that type of target. It's mostly light flak, that. I think we'd better have a delayed action bomb in each bomb load. They won't be able to get near the place after that. Very good, Zahn. You'd better send O'Reilly last to make sure. He's mad enough for anything. Yes, very good, Zahn. What's up? Morning, Corporal. Here's today's orders. A and B flights to be operational. C for Charlie and R for Robert in sendries. Rest four five hundreds and one thousand pounder. What time take off, sir? Around 7.30. Oh, um, uh, there's a camera on you for Uncle. That'll mean a flash bomb. Very good, sir. These gun barrels go, Jimmy, front or rear? They're for the rear turret, Phil. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. 131.6, 19 point 131.5, 18 point 18.5. Wind is 22 miles now at 309 degrees. Visibility 12 miles, three times the cumulus cloud at 3,000 feet. Right. Come in. Morning, Wilson. Good morning, sir. Here's the information about tonight's target. Good. Have we got sufficient dope on it, do you think? Oh, I think plenty with the photographs. Good. Right, well, I'll see you at the briefing this afternoon, then. Yes, sir. The 
down there. We're on to a new target tonight, Fryhausen. It'll be roughhousing by the time we're through with it. <laughs> it's not as funny as you seem to think, Sergeant Calder. Happens to be an extremely important target. There is one thing first, um, crew of F for Freddy. Dixon, you're a captain. I want you to take Lee as wireless operator tonight, and not Catford. Bad luck, Catford. Um, so the crew will be Dixon, Willett, McPherson, Lee, Bell, and Harrison. The rest are unchanged. Now for your actual objective. As you'll see from your target maps, it looks like an unimportant railway siding. In actual fact, as you'll see from photographs, it's the site of a large oil dump. It's very well hidden amongst the trees, but there shouldn't be very much difficulty in finding the position. And your job tonight, my lads, is to find it and destroy it. Now Squad Leader Wilson will describe the target to you. Now I'll say some more afterwards. Put out the lights. This is your target. Oil storage at Fryhausen. There are indications of considerable storage in the wood here and here. But the principal feature is the accumulation of oil wagons on the sidings and barges on the river. The river, you will see from your target map, runs away to the north when it gets off the picture. The canal runs from east to west for about three miles. I suggest that you make your bombing run parallel to the canal from east to west and that will bring you straight up to the target. Other landmarks are the railway to the south of the canal with the bridge over the river half a mile south of the target. You can get your target maps from the clock outside the door afterwards. Any questions? Would it be okay to go in low tonight, sir? I'm coming to that. Phillips and Anderson, you're full of incendiaries tonight. You'll take off quarter of an hour before everybody else, and your job is to definitely locate the target and set the wood on fire. Right, sir. Take your time about it, because the others will be following you up. There's no reason for the rest of you to bomb the first fire that you come to. You must definitely locate the target before you bomb. After all, even Anderson can make mistakes. O'Reilly, you'll go in last and make sure. Okay, I'll do that, sir. Good man, but remember the trees are very high around the target. Method of attack for the rest of you, I leave to individual captains. Um, as soon as the Hun knows that you've found the target, you'll get the usual plentiful supply of flak. So it's no good expecting an easy passage, because you won't get one. Remember, don't risk aircraft unnecessarily. Your main object is to bomb the target, and then to bring your aircraft back safely. What's the armament officer say? Not much, sir. You'll find your bomb load written up there. One of the bombs in each aircraft is a delayed action. That is, with the exception of C and R. Uh, you don't need to worry about that being taken care of in the section. Right, what's the weather man got to us this time? Well, the weather should be favourable. Cloud increasing across the North Sea, but with breaks in it. Good visibility. Navigational winds northwest, 30 miles an hour at all heights. Risk of fog at base aerodrome towards dawn. The charts you can see upstairs afterwards. And call. How about signals? Wireless operators will get the call signs for tonight from me in my office. And don't forget, as you're well over the other side, you can usually get your bearing from Baal if you're stuck. That altar? Yes, I think it's lot. You wish to say something, no? Yes. Well, chaps, no doubt about it, we've got a good one for tonight. It should be fairly easy to find, and with those water landmarks and the light, you should manage a good run up. Go in and flatten it. And good luck to you.
I'll go along and get the car signs and the signals given. Okay. We're going to have a look at the gun, sir. All right, but don't be late. Okay, sir. We'll be in the career on time. Where's that Scotch navigator? Hi, sir. We'll go along and have a look at that course. Listen, I can't pay my mess bill, let alone you. Well, neither can I. So, oh, all right. See me after the trip. I know. You would remember that. Hey, some clots pinched my boots. Come on, pull your finger out. Where's my boots? Thank you. We had the hell of a party. You may see a big cone of satellites over here. Mm. But I shouldn't let it worry you. What did you do? Ooh. Being a gentleman, I turned the other cheek. She's a bit hefty, isn't she? She is. Oh, I see. And we'll probably see our other lads giving the channel ports a bashing. Mm. But on the whole, we'll probably have a pretty clear run right into the target. I'll give you a good long run up, and you'll have plenty of time to see the target. There'll be no need for a dummy run. Yes, okay. All from F for Freddy here? I'm here anyway. Here, sir. I'm here, Skipper. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Well, that's a change anyway. Anybody come to this? No, not yet. Not yet. Thank God. I transmit this. Hello, good chair. Hello, good chair. Path calling. Are you receiving me? Over. Hello, fair path. Control answering. I am receiving you well. Over. I transmit this. 
Charlie Airborne, sir. 19 hours, 35 minutes. Thank you. Translate, please. Hello, Control. Hello, Control. Car tower. See Charlie to the 1935. Over. Sleep yet? No, I haven't. 
I don't know. Call operator. Everything okay? Well, it seems to be all here, sir. Hello, second pilot. Ready to do some oil pumping? That's all the second pilot's for. Well, that's all right. Freihausen, here we come. as though you're likely to know. I can't find where we are. We've come to Karlsruhe. Famous for its breweries, you know. Good old Mac. Let's get on as fast as bad. Everybody, let me know if you see anything. Hello, Skip. Searchlights are back to the standard quarter. By God, so there is. The natives are pair hostile. signs of life? Not a thing, Skip. I wonder where Andy is. He was going to light us in. Big 
Stand by, I'm going in a glide. Can I start the flight, Skipper? Yes, okay. Let go the thousand pounder last, Mac. Not so cigar. Oh, I think I'll get some a sandwich. Okay, chaps, don't worry. Everything's all right. Anybody hurt? The wireless operator's copped it. Badly? No, I don't think so. Only in the leg. Okay, you take her over, Willow. She seems to be okay. Uh, make height, but don't flog her. Interrupted message map for Freddy, sir. Is this all we've got? Yes, sir. It suddenly stopped after giving the target bomb signal. Oh, all right. Well, how's it going? Uh, C for Charlie and R for Robert are on their way back, sir. Several other aircraft have bombed the target. Oh, good. Better mark F for Freddy over the target. Very good, sir. I've seen this. Hmm, not so good, sir. Might be wireless failure, perhaps. Let's hope so.
I can't get nothing on the set, sir. It's dead. Let me try, sir. No, you keep quiet. We'll manage without it. I say, Skipper, here a moment. What's the trouble? My old pressure dropping on the port engine. I can't make any height. Losing any? No, but I can't make any. All right, I'll take over. You go back and look after the wireless operator. more on it for Freddy, I'm afraid, sir. Freddy is getting a bit late. How's the weather holding? Not too good, I think, but I'll go and find out. Hello, Flare Path. Control calling. How is the weather, please? Over. Hello, Control. Path answering. The visibility is now down to 500 yards. The mist is thickening. Over. Hmm, I was afraid of that. If I can keep her from losing any more height, then Bob's your uncle. Don't forget about our balloons, Mac. Don't worry, I'll not forget the balloons. But how's the invalid? Oh, he's fine. But feeling awful cold. It's the shock I expect. I had the same when I fell off my bike. Except for F. Freddy, of course. All right. Call up the observer corps and see if they can give us a line on him. Yes, all right, sir. And tell all aerodromes to be prepared to light up immediately in case Wellington comes over. Yes.
clothes on. Come on, let's get out and have a look at the weather. Good job. Get a breather at the same time. Hell's bells, just look at this muck. Hope Dixon gets a move on. He's probably got engine trouble, of course, huh? Wait a moment, Tom. Is that an aircraft? Bless them all! Stop, you bugman! Stand still! That's one, all right. Must be a Freddy in that case, huh? I'll go straight down to the flare path. I hope. Attention, everybody. We are over the aerodrome, but I can see practically nothing. The port engine is very rough. We could make a bit of height and jump out, or we could have a stab at landing. Let's try it, sir. I'd go in and land, sir. Uh, try a landing, sir. Have a crack at it, sir. I'm all for landing. Okay, keep your fingers crossed. Now, sir. Right, put the floodlight on. Quick left. Right, sir. Put it down, sir. Don't get an ambulance, will you? The operator's copped it.
Come in, Dixon. I hear you made a nice landing. I hope we haven't kept you waiting, sir. Good Lord, no. Come and sit down. Well, how'd you get on? Well, we did a low-level attack. We were over the target at 23.45. Bombs were dropped at 23.53. Uh, the first four bombs, I'm afraid, fell short of the target, but uh, the last one was a, a direct hit. Yes, that was the big one. Yes, it was a smasher right onto it. Caused a hell of a great big fire, buckets of smoke. Visible, ooh, 50 miles away. You know, 90, I should say. What colour? Dullish red with black smoke. That sounds like oil, all right. I'm afraid I didn't see very much. I was rather busy at the time. Right. Well, that seems to be all. Good show. Good night. Good night. Group intelligence, please. Intelligence militant speaking. Tonight's operations. Objective has reached and heavily bombed. Large fires and explosions were seen. All our aircraft returned. I'll send you details in the morning. Good night. Well, old boy, how about some bacon and eggs? 